Hello there, I'm Trent aka Otrademark and today I wanted to show you guys some advanced tips and tricks on using Tiny Task in Anime Fighters. So Tiny Task is a macro program which allows you to play your actions back and it's I really wouldn't even play this game if it wasn't for Tiny Task. It takes out so much of the monotonous uh, grinding in this game. And first and foremost, the developers have confirmed that uh, you can use Tiny Task. It's not bannable in this game. You can also use like software auto clickers, so don't worry about that. It is allowed. Um, and I will leave a link in the description on where you can download this. But basically, you download the program. You come up here, you go to preferences. The first thing you want to do is when you run it, you want to set a couple things up. So you want playback speed to be at one. You want continuous playback to be checked. It By default, it is not. And you also want, I prefer always on top to be checked. The reason for that is anytime that your game is focused and not tiny task, it will still kind of float up here above your game. And that allows you to kind of see what's going on and, and set up your macros easier. So. Let me show you how like a very basic uh, tiny task auto farm is set up. Usually if you don't have magnet, you need to be very close to the boss that you want to auto farm. So I go up very close to next to him. I'm going to hit record. I'm going to uh, click somewhere into my game to basically focus it. And then I'm going to long click attack on the enemy. That's going to send when you long click attack, it sends all your units to attack rather than, you know, counting the number of clicks that you need to do. I'm going to let uh, the enemy die if you don't have as much damage as you as me I'm you're gonna basically wait a lot longer you're gonna let the enemy respond and respawn and then you're gonna wait about two seconds and hit the recording button again to stop that all right now since we have continuous playback on I'm gonna hit play and that's gonna loop that entire uh, section there and it's just gonna repeatedly kill shiny eyes okay um, keep in mind that if you stop the recording too fast before he's respawned, then you're going to click before he spawns and you're not going to get your second loop in. It's going to just basically break your uh, break every other loop. Um, but this will just continue to go as long as you have continuous playback on. Um, you can see that this one was set up quite slow. You don't have to be that slow with it, but uh, this will basically continuously farm the enemy. Now, some bosses have the problem that they actually move. They move around. So Shiny Eyes is a pretty consistent spawn. He basically is always kind of right here. But some bosses, they, they're in like an area. So they'll respawn anywhere like in this general area. And so one thing that you can do for that, uh, first of all, you're going to need Magnet to do this. Okay. But secondly, when they, when they move around or if they're really big like Colossus, uh, or cer certain bosses that like throw the coins far away, you're gonna need magnet first and foremost. But then what you do when, when you're setting up the recording is when you attack and the boss dies, rather than just sitting here, as soon as the boss dies, you wanna start long clicking all over your screen, okay? And what this is doing is you're basically giving these safety clicks. So now when I stop the recording, Let's just pretend that shiny eyes, you know, I was on top of him, but then he spawned like really far from me. So now he's spawned like far away from me. Um, when I play this thing, even though my first click right here is going to miss, my safety clicks are actually going to hopefully uh, at some point hit on to him. So this is really useful for, so you see that? This is useful for enemies that basically move at a different location. Um, one thing to keep a note there, I did actually click twice, so that's that's a bad thing to do. Uh, I probably did too many safety clicks. Honestly, you don't need that many. Typically what I do, it, it most bosses that I farm are static bosses like this, so they don't really move around. But if you are farming a moving boss, you probably only need one click on the left of him, one click on the right of him, and that's enough safety clicks to basically, no matter where they move, that you'll, you'll either hit them with the first one, the left one, or the right one, okay? All right, so that's the first advanced trick. Secondly, let's go ahead and talk about how you can actually open stars while farming uh, the front mini boss, okay? This works on most levels, I would say, as long as this mini boss, again, doesn't move too far, all right? So the first thing that you wanna do is you basically, you want to get as close to the enemy that you're trying to farm without going out of range of opening the star, okay? 
Then what I like to do is kind of zoom in and turn my screen so that the boss is kind of floating up here in the top right corner of my screen, okay? Now for this, I like to set up hotkeys. So my recording hotkey is on F8 and my playback's on the default, but you don't have to. You just need to know what your hotkeys are. The reason why it's beneficial to use hotkeys on these is so that you don't have to focus the window prior to doing whatever your command is. So you already have your game window focused. I'm gonna go ahead and start my recording with my F8, F8 hotkey. And I'm gonna long click attack here and immediately after I attack, I'm gonna hit Q to do auto open, okay? So let's go ahead and do that now. F8, long click, Q. Now I'm opening, and back here you can see shiny eyes. I'm just gonna let him die. If you have less damage, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer, obviously. You wait until he dies and your units are all done attacking him. You let him respawn, and then the same thing. You wait a couple seconds, and then you're gonna hit stop on your open. As soon as it comes out of this blur, I'm gonna hit F8 to stop my recording. All right, so now I have the entire thing looped. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna start it with the, with the hotkey, which is Control Shift Alt P. Hands off, look how cool this is. It's gonna attack, it's gonna start opening. This is a super important macro for any of you that don't have enough yen to auto open all night, okay? If you're, if you're like, If you want to open the higher world stars, but you don't have enough yen, it really does depend on your damage. You're probably not going to make more yen than you're spending, but um, you will get some decent uh, some de decent yen returns to keep your yen capped off, and you won't lose as much yen throughout the night while you're using this strategy uh, to basically open stars and farm at the same time. All right, so let me go ahead and stop that one. Now the last one that you can actually utilize is uh, you can basically open and you can open a certain amount of stars. And <clears throat> so, let, so let's say I'm like, whoops, I record, I start opening. Let's say that I waited for like I don't know, a thousand stars to open. I could hit stop on the recording. I could go into my thing. I could click on a unit that's equipped. You wanna make sure it's one that's equipped. Fuse, select unlock, fuse selected, yes. Close, and then stop that recording. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna loop basically you opening and fusing, uh, which is really good if you're trying to like overnight level up characters, okay? Uh, it will dump all of the everything that you're not auto selling basically you're, you're gonna dump into one unit as XP uh, It's really valuable if you're late game like me and it takes quadrillions of XP to level up in the last levels, all right? Okay, I'm gonna stop that and the last thing I'm just gonna mention is that whenever you're doing these auto farms or you're, especially if you're doing auto uh, opening you want to make sure that your auto sell settings are set up correctly, okay? This is typically what I set my auto sell settings to if I'm um, AFK opening during the night. All right, I, I leave commons, rares, and then normal epics uh, as auto sell. Now, this is going to depend on your backpack size and your. It, it depends on a lot of things like your luck passes, your opening speed, how many how many upgrades you have. It's there's a ton of factors here, so you're going to have to kind of test it yourself. But basically. Look at your backpack size, look at how quickly you're opening stars and just maybe test it for 30 minutes, an hour and see how many you've, how, how much of your bag is filled up. Um, if you're filling up your bag too quickly, like let's say you test it and, or you wake up one morning and your bag's full, you'll know it is because it will basically, it will break the auto open and you'll just, yeah, you'll be loop, you'll basically either be looping like, uh, you opening or yeah it just depends on how you set up your tiny task but um so if you if you're filling up too quickly you need to be a little bit more aggressive on what you're selling so let's say you don't have much backpack space you might have to sell normal ep, uh, legendaries and ep, shiny epics okay um 
I don't think you need to be more aggressive than this. You shouldn't really fill up if you're keeping shiny legendaries and then both mythics. So that's probably as aggressive as you need to be. Uh, and if you're, you know, if you're going to be checking it frequently throughout the day, like sometimes if I'm, you know, just working, I'll just leave it at this and do it and then check it like every hour or so or something like that. And that way, um, you don't fill up as quickly, but uh, it's not like your AFK opening overnight. All right, guys. So hopefully those, you know, those tips help you and you can kind of more efficiently farm. This game is very, very difficult. I'll be honest, if you do not use these AFK farming and AFK opening strategies, um, really, if you had to actively grind and do all this stuff, it, it would be very like exponentially more difficult. So I hope that helps you guys. Malo and Alpito, thanks for watching. I'm out of here.